everybody. It's Tom from Comics, Cards, and Collectibles, 724 Cleveland Avenue Southwest, on the fringes of beautiful downtown Canton. As I keep telling you, we are currently closed because, for some reason, we're not an essential business. But we still try to do one of these videos uh, fairly often. We're trying every day, but we know we're not going to hit that. To try to cheer you up and let you know we're still here and let you know we still care about you. So, today is Tuesday, April 14th. 2020. Um, it is a mere 17 days away from May 1st. We're going to tear one of these off because we're getting ever closer. Um, all, uh, since today's the 14th, uh, normally tomorrow would be the day you'd have to get your income taxes in, April 15th. But this year, because of everything that's going on, um, we are deferring, or it has been deferred until July 15th. So all of you procrastinators, you got plenty of time to wait. And of course, you're going to wait until July 14th because that's what procrastinators do. Today in history, in 1828, the first edition of Noah Webster's Dictionary was published. So all of you folks that are running to the dictionary all the time looking words up, you might want to celebrate something today. Buy a cake or better yet, bake one. Um, in 1865, President Abraham Lincoln was assassinated in Ford's Theater by John Wilkes Booth. And as I recall, he was watching a play called Our American Cousins, which was a comedy, as I recall. Uh, I never saw it, and I tried to avoid it, and you might want to, too. In 1912... The Titanic, which was the most unsinkable ship, or at least billed as such, uh, struck an iceberg, and it uh, sank the very next day, of course, and um, 1,500 or so people perished in that um, accident, as it were. Okay, uh, we want you to remember, uh, take care of yourselves. Uh, we worry about you, so make sure you eat well. Make sure that you take your meds and make sure you stay, stay hydrated. But we also always try to pick three extra things for you to do. So, um, let's go with say something nice to someone. Yeah, it always picks up somebody's day if you say something nice. Tony's here today running the camera in case you wondered. Tony, you're a very pretty man. I, I don't ever go to prison. Uh, you would not do well there. Okay, and next is cook something. Yeah, you know, break out the frying pan, fry up some burgers or some veggies. Uh, you know, eat something good, cook it yourself. Um, if there's some, you know, you want to drop off here, that's nice too. And finally, oh yeah, get dressed for goodness sakes. You people have been sitting around in your drawers for how long? Put on a pair of pants. Nobody wants to see that. I don't care how relaxed you are. Even if you live alone, put on some clothes, for goodness sakes. Your cat's probably looking at you funny. Okay, that's it for today. On that, um, I, I don't know. Um, we're here. You want to, you know, we're, we want to take care of ourselves. We want you to take care of yourselves. We're going to be here. If you need us, you know how to get hold of us. If you got any comments, if you want to you know, send us some ideas for the job jar, that's cool too. Um, so, yeah, just get a hold of us. Let us know you like these, or if you don't like them, I can take some criticism. Well, I guess we got nothing left except it's story time. So one day, a gentleman was out on the golf course. It's something we are still allowed to do, by the way, even with social distancing. And he was about to tee off, and all of a sudden, as he's reaching for his club, he hears two wood. He looks around. It's like, okay, and he's still reaching. He hears two wood. And he looks down, and there's a frog sitting there. Extend. He goes, was that you talking? And the frog looks up and he goes, two wood. Okay, what the heck? So he pulls the two wood out. He hits the ball. It goes straight down the fairway. Bounces right up on the ground. Best shot he's had in forever. He looks at the frog and goes, wow, that was great. You're, you're a lucky frog. He goes, 
lucky frog. He goes, well, come on. He picks him up and he starts carrying him. So he putts out and he goes to the, the next green and the frog goes, one iron. So he hits it, has a really nice shot. On the fairway, five iron. Up right in the hole. It, it's great. So him and the frog do this the whole time. He has the best game he has ever had that day. So when he's had his 18 and he looks at the frog and goes, okay, lucky frog, what do we do now? He goes, Vegas. Okay, so he hops on a plane, him and his frog goes to Vegas. They go into a casino, looks at the frog, frog goes, roulette. So he goes to the roulette table, frog goes, three. Puts the money on three, it hits. Looks at the frog, frog goes, 13. It hits. Does that on it. He has a ton of chips in front of him. Finally, he looks at the frog, frog goes, cash out. So he goes over, he gets all his money, frog goes, get a room. So he gets a room. Him and the frog are up in the room, and he looks at the frog, sits it down on the bed, and the frog goes, kiss me. So he kisses the frog, and the frog turns into the most beautiful, blonde-haired, beautiful 17-year-old girl you ever saw, and honest to God, Your Honor, that's how she got in my room. Okay. You all have a good day. Stay safe. We're all in this together. We can get through it. And we'll see you next time.